gentlemen, and welcome to Hooves. Please show your appreciation for your show band for tonight, the Harrys. I've been walking these streets alone, singing the same old song. I know every crack on every dirty sidewalk on Washed away like the snow and the rain. There'll be a lot of compromising on the road up to my horizon. But I'm gonna be where the light is shining on me. Like a rhinestone cowboy. Welcome. What's your name? Where you from? Hey, what's your name? Hey, what's your name? Where you from, darling? What's your name? Where you from? What's your name? Where you from? Where you from? What's your name? Where you from? What's your name? Where you from? What's your name? Where you from? What's your star sign? What's your star sign? What's your star sign? What's your name? Where you from? What's your star sign? Danone. Now, um, hey, 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 Baldy, hey, Baldy, Baldy, four eyes, Baldy. Mm, dull, lifeless hair. Um, mm, why is it only Tudor buildings do we mock them, eh? Why? Mm, mm, love it. Find me and follow me, the dark of the matinee. Dark of the matinee, the dark of the matinee. And so it goes on. Now, I, mm, back me up. I remember, mm, I remember the shouts of scab. Mm, oh, yeah, as my dad went to work mm, during the great dermatologist strike. Mm. <laughs> Tell me about it. Scab. <laughs> don't pick it. No, don't pick it. <laughs> Leave it open to the air. Anyone, uh, anyone got a dog? Anyone got a dog? Mm, the talk. Yeah, mm, you got a dog? Mm, give him a peanut. Now the... <laughs> Oh, we got a dog. You, uh... <laughs> Welcome, sir. Stand up. Stand up. That's it. What's your name? What's your name? Brian. Brian, congratulations. You're a DVD extra. <laughs> Find me and follow me in the dark of the night today. The dark of the... And so it goes on. Now, the... will be a menu. DVD extras. Mike. <laughs> so, um... Oh, it's Mike. So, uh, standing up, give him a peanut. Now, um, I, uh, my nan has uh, been, she died again. Nan. Mmm, <laughs> poor, poor, mm, poor old nan. She'd been ill for a while. Yeah, she's supposed to have that oxygen at home, you know, the oxygen cylinders. Uh, but because of the cutbacks, they just gave her uh, a snorkel. They just... <laughs> Now, uh, back me up. So, you know the, uh, you know the fine black foam rubber coverings that you get on the Walkman earphones? Hmm? You know that fine black foam rubber coverings you get on the Walkman earphone makes an excellent beret for a caterpillar. <laughs> uh, yeah. You'll be doing it when you get home, won't you? <laughs> get the Walkman earphones. Yeah, it's French night down at the Cabbage Patch. <laughs> What's your Nicole? Ah, ah, it's a blackbird. Quick, you and save yourself, Nicole. Are distracted. Now I understand. There, uh, I understand there are a large party of Scottish people down here tonight. A large party of. Don't kill that researcher. I'll <laughs> mm, oh, kill him. Margo, 
I see Margo. I see Tom. Tom, Barbara, Jerry. Good evening, Tom. Hello, Barbara. Good evening, Jerry. Hello, Tom. Barbara, Jerry. Tom, Barbara, Jerry. I see Barbara. What are the pigs is dying? Oh, Tom. Oh, Barbara. Hi, oh, Jerry. So, uh, what I want you to do, sir, Baldy. <laughs> uh, lifeless hair. Fine flyaway hair. <laughs> mm, unnecessary frizz. Unnecessary, <laughs> unnecessary frizz. <laughs> what do you need on that? A little bit of frizzies. <laughs> A little bit of fizzies on that, sort that out for you. What, uh, hmm? what I want you to uh, do, sir, is as I move my hand, shout the word quack, all right? Quack, go on. Quack. That's it. Quack, go on. Quack, quack, go on. Quack, you're on your own now. Go on. Go on. Quack, go on. quack, go on. quack. Go on. quack. <laughs> yeah, see how you like it. See how you like it. <laughs> I've seen you down the duck pond, I've seen you. <laughs> Is that what it means, Mr. Duck Expert? Is that what it means? <laughs> Throw bread at my face. Is that what it means? <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. Hmm? The only reason. The only reason they turn up when you go there with that bread is to clear it away. And then you have to leave it for a couple of days, it'll start to stink. Mm. How's, a, how's a duck supposed to make bread? Hey, <laughs> what's the natural food of the duck? Bread! <laughs> well, he'd stand on the dough and knead it with his beak, I suppose. <laughs> All right, I'll give you that. Uh... <laughs> so there she was, Nan. She's been a bit confused. God bless her. She, uh... Yeah, I'd be out with her. She's uh, lost her marbles, pretty much. It means <laughs> very sad. <laughs> Name a bird, sir. Name a bird. Swan. It's already been taken. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you're a DVD extra. <laughs> so, um... So there she was, right, Nan. She's, it'd be embarrassing, right? She'd shout stuff out, right? We'd be out with, together. She'd shout things like, Oi, you, go back to Africa where you belong, right? <laughs> right, it's embarrassing, right? She's going, Oi, you, go back to India. You're not wanted here. For crying out loud, Nan. Put a sock in it, it's embarrassing. She's going, Oi, you, go back to Papua New Guinea where the rest of your lot come from. We don't want your sort round here. I said to her, Nan, it's a zoo. <laughs> It's a zoo, it's a zoo. Now, um, he's got a what breed, sir? What breed, Mike? It is Mike, isn't it? Bryant. Bryant's. Yes, 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 yes. No one corrected me. <laughs> <laughs> mm? Brian. Yes. How, uh, hmm? Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkshire oh. Terrier. What, um, two little Yorkshire Terriers uh, working as a team, highly effective. <laughs> what's, uh, what's it bred for, the Yorkshire Terrier, originally? No idea, no idea, not interested. Hmm? It's, a sort of, it's a sort of a lady's dog, isn't it? More of a sort of a lady's dog. You have it for your wife, for your wife. Uh, you would take the Yorkshire Terriers out, my darling. Uh, am I right in thinking that your wife is uh, unable to have children of her own? <laughs> uh, unable to have children, she's got the two little Yorkies in there. She shuts her up, basically, shut her up. Uh, shut up, take the dog out. Um, Give her a biscuit. So, um, <laughs> see, different dogs are bred for different purposes. This is the point I'm making. You see, all these people who haven't got dogs, non dog owners, right? And I understand it. You're thinking to yourself, you know, a dog's for life, not just for Christmas, aren't you? You know, but you know, if you get a sick one or a very, you know, an old one, a very old dog, mm, just see you through to February. Mm. <laughs> Breeds are bred for different purposes. The Yorkshire Terrier originally, I think, was uh, bred to retrieve uh, handbags from the back seat of a car. <laughs> uh, the Corgi, mm, on the other hand, the Corgi, she must never be queen. The Corgi <laughs> is. Uh, mm, she, it's yeah, that is bred to uh, approve the work of gas fitters. <laughs> Small, right? <laughs> He's small. He can get under a low cupboard there and have a sniff about. <laughs> no, 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 I couldn't possibly approve that. No, no. No, you see that? No. See that? that uh, there should be a vent there, by the way. 
I couldn't possibly have pregnant it, no. And the reason there's so much bad gas work about, right? Yeah, he's small, he can get under there, but he's very easily bribed, the corgi. <laughs> I can't call the so you should have two centimetres above your skirt in there. You should have a T-valve. Uh, do you want a biscuit? All right, I'll approve it this time. Don't, you know. Don't tell no one about it. Don't tell no one. So, uh... Anyone got a van? Anyone got a van? The tall Brian, you got a van? Mm, the double? No. OK. That's right, you never see him anymore, do you, Vance? <laughs> See, my, see, I bought a new van. That's my big story, basically. Got a new van. And when you get a van, right, the first thing you do, you get the sticker for the back of the van. No tools kept in the van overnight. Hmm? So I've got that on the back of the van, right? No tools kept in the van uh, overnight. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the fact is... <laughs> I do keep tools in the van overnight. <laughs> me up on this Gamblers Anonymous. How do they know where to send your winnings? Um, <laughs> so, uh, you get that problem with the wasps in the uh, supermarket, you're up at the till there, and she's ringing your stuff up like that. Beep, 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 and a wasp keeps flying past the scanner, right? <laughs> beep, beep. Because <laughs> of his stripy tail, <laughs> he's ringing himself up. <laughs> beep, 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 12p wasp. <laughs> Still so near the bins. Should we do that thing we do sometimes? <laughs> the tribute to the soul singers of the past, hmm? who may or may not be deceased. Da, 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 da. Mr. Marvin Gaye. Marvin, 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 it was my one. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so my dog, right, if there's, uh, you're probably like me, Brian, someone at the door, the dog runs straight for the door, rah, 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 straight for the door, uh, but it's never for him. It's never for him. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think it was going to be? One of your little friends? <laughs> hey, you think it was going to be your daddy? <laughs> I'm your daddy now, on your rug. <laughs> In your bed, on your rug. In your bed. Uh, I've got a sister in Australia, so when I phone her up, there is a slight delay on the line after I've spoken, uh, because she's a bit thick. <laughs> Hello? How are you? So, uh... Yeah, so there she is. Uh, poor old Nan, as I say, she did... Uh, she did... Uh, we, we put her in a home, basically, in the end. That's what we could do. Who said swan? <laughs> <laughs> the point I'm making about, <laughs> about birds' names is, right, that pretty much if you're thinking of starting a small business, it's nice to use a bird's name, but nearly all of them have been taken, right? You said Swan, Swan Vesta, of course, Swan Vesta matches, uh, Heron Garages, uh, Stork Margarine, Eagle Insurance, so it goes on. Uh, pretty much every bird's name. <laughs> Uh, has been taken, if anyone like to suggest. If you're starting a small business, as I say, it's nice to use a bird's name, but most of them have been taken. If anyone's got a... Go on, suggest a bird's name. Pigeon. The Pigeon uh, Tanning Centre. Um, <laughs> Beckenham. That's down there. Have a look. Uh, check it out. Uh, anyone? One more? Oh, you're gone now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Suddenly everyone's a bird expert. Um... The fact is, <laughs> I keep more tools in the van overnight than I do during the day. <laughs> There's no way of knowing. <laughs> you take a zebra through the scanner at the supermarket, 400 quid. <laughs> Prohibitively expensive. So, um... There she is, in the home now. I went to visit her, uh, dear old Nan, in the home. She didn't even recognise me. Very sad, you know, I'm in there. She's going, uh, I don't know who you are. I said, look, it's me, it's Harry, it's your grandson, right? I don't know no Harry. I, I ain't got no grandson called Harry. I'm saying, look, it's me, it's your grandson. Right, I'm doing her voice for her and everything. I'm getting right down. <laughs> you know, I'm making it easy for her. Look, it's me, it's your grandson. I don't got 
no, grandchunkle. Look at me, Frank, it's me. And in the end, a nurse came over and said, no, 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 not that one, it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> they do look very similar at that age, with the grey... <laughs> with the grey hair, you know, I mean, at least put him in different coloured nighties. <laughs> so, uh... So, anyone been up in the space shuttle at all? Anyone been up in the... <laughs> That's right, no one ever does it anymore. I, I was, um, <laughs> swarm. I was, um, I was lucky enough to go up in the space shuttle three times, okay? Uh, first time I went up, uh, they told me I was allowed to take a suite, right? Just one suite, you're allowed to take a suite, it's like any other trip. Um, and I thought, yeah, I thought to myself, what should I take? You know, the old suites, you remember the old sweet shops, Brian, eh? Mm. Oh, I put too many in, take a few back. <laughs> Back, I put a few back in. Oh, I put too many in, I take a few back. I take too many back, I put a few back in. I put too many in, I take a few back. Oh, forget it, I'll have a packet of Tic Tacs. <laughs> uh, so that's what I took, right? I took a packet of Tic Tacs up. I thought, yeah, there's lots of them. You know, you can spread it over the journey. And, um... <laughs> Uh, so as we took off, right, I thought, yeah, I'll have a tic-tac to celebrate, right? Never been up in the space shuttle, had a tic-tac, popped that back there. 20 minutes later, we go weightless, right? I thought, yeah, I'll have another tic-tac, have one of those back there. Round about bedtime, I thought, yeah, just freshen my mouth up, have a tic-tac, pop that back. Then I suppose round about 11s is the next day, I thought I'll have another tic-tac, pop that back. Just as that Bob, the other astronaut, popped his head round, he said, uh, oh, Harry, he said, there's been a problem with one of the experiments, right? Because it's a work trip, right? It's not a holiday. Day. <laughs> Obviously, there are fun aspects to it, but pretty much. He said, one of the test tubes is broken, right? He said, he, what we need is something we could use to replace the test tube, right? He sees the packet of Tic Tacs there. He said, of course, if you were to empty the Tic Tacs out of that, you know, it's see-through, it's plastic, we could use it as a test tube. I thought, charming, you know, I've only had four Tic Tacs. <laughs> Right? I said, go on then, you know, for the good of the mission, take it. He takes that, right? He takes that. I thought, right, next, he opens it up, there's tic tacs flying everywhere, right? <laughs> I grabbed as many as I could. He got three or four, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, 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 Bob. Um, so, next time I go up, right, I've learned my lesson. I'm not taking tic tacs, right? I thought I'd take, hmm? yeah, I thought I'd take fruit pastels, yeah. Hey, I'll take some fruit pastels. We take off, right? I thought, I'll have a fruit pastel. I open it up like that, I wind it down, I wind it down. Oh, I can't believe my luck, it's a black one. <laughs> Sometimes you're just lucky, right? <laughs> 20 minutes later, we go weightless. I thought, yeah, I'll have a celebration. I'll have a fruit pastel. I'll win it up a little bit further. And here it is. It's a red one, black and red. Perfect. OK. <laughs> Bedtime comes round. I thought, no, it's bad for your teeth. It's bad for your teeth. I won't have another one. Next day, round about in every cheese. I'll have another pastel. Wind it down a bit further. <laughs> it's a green one. Can't win them all. <laughs> Just, just then, Bob, the other astronaut, pops his head round. He says, oh, Harry, he said, there's been a problem. As we took off, the G-forces sheared off all the buttons off one of the main control panels. <laughs> I thought, I can see where this is going. <laughs> he said, what we need is something we could use to replace the buttons. He sees the fruit pastels. They do with the charming of any had free. Take it for the good of the mission, for the good of the mission, right? Third time up, I've learned my lesson. I'm not having Tic Tacs, I'm not having fruit pastels. I'll have a curly whirly. <laughs> yes, indeed, I'll have a curly whirly. <laughs> we take off, normally celebrate, whole fire, whole fire. Go wait this 20 minutes later, whole fire, whole fire. Don't eat the curly whirly, don't eat the curly whirly. Round about bedtime, no, it's bad for me to let <laughs> Ran a brain lemon cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I went out the curly whirly. Just then, Bob, the other astronaut, pops his head round. He says, oh, Harry, he said, there's been a problem. He said, with the mouse experiment. I said, oh, yeah, what's that? He said, well, the little ladder's broken. <laughs> They do say the left side of the brain is responsible for speech, right? The left side of the brain is responsible for speech, but then it would say that, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> a little bit of... 
a little bit of fun now. Uh, lady, lady, the, uh, have you seen this? Got one of these at home. What it is, hmm? put your purse away, it's included in the ticket price. Ah, <laughs> oh, bless. Uh, give her a biscuit. So what, um, what's your name, darling? Karen. Karen, short for? Hmm? All right, calm down. Go on, right, Karen. Karen. K-A-R-E-N, the conventional spelling of Karen. And uh, are you in employment currently, Karen? Hmm? No. You're not a dirty girl. <laughs> dirty rotter. Spongy. Spongy. <laughs> no, of course not. No, of course not. You uh, uh, work at home? With the kids? Yeah, yeah. you've got your two kids there. OK, you're all right. You're doing a project for school. You're doing a project. <laughs> um, can I be your project? Um, so, uh, so you work at home. Uh, and so what was housewife? Should we say that's a rather conventional? A little bit uh, old-fashioned these days, isn't it? Working mum would be the phrase we would probably Homemaker. use. Homemaker. Homemaker, yeah. Conjures up an image of a of a bird going to and fro, to and fro with uh, pieces of straw and, and feathering it up. A little <laughs> even though it was bought for you by your husband. <laughs> the homemaker. <laughs> All right. So um, H O M E M A K E R. Homemaker, Karen. What's your favourite colour, darling? Pink. Pink. P I N K. Pink. That's what you look like. <laughs> uh, and if, if you're wondering, that's a, that's a stabiliser from a child's bike, if you're thinking of, if you're thinking of doing one. <laughs> hey, hey, hmm. That's a morning's work for me. That's a mo <laughs> I'm just you now. I don't know. That's... Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, there's some poor kid riding around and round in circles. <laughs> oh, God. So, um... Yeah, so she did die, as I say, Nan, and uh, <laughs> yeah, she died again. And uh, we thought we'd get her embalmed, right? Yeah, we thought we'd throw a bit of money at it. And um, the, <laughs> the embalmer said, he said, have you got a photograph of your Nan, you know, while she was alive, so that I can work off for the embalming? Uh, and unfortunately, the only photograph we had of her was of her on the log flume at Alton Towers. <laughs> I'll never forget, they lifted the coffin lid. <laughs> put it back, put the lid back, put the lid back, put the lid back. Should we do that sometime that we do the soul singers of the past, uh, Mr. Smokey Robinson? So take a good look at my face. <laughs> I've got tiny eyes, haven't I? Look. <laughs> No wonder I can't see anything. <laughs> so, um, you, uh, you get those weird emails, you're on the internet, guys. You're on the internet, mm, dirty, uh, dirty. Uh, mm, you're smelling, I'm telling. You went to Barbie's wedding, you kissed her, you hugged her, you even said you loved her. Um, see, uh, Danone. See, in my day, <laughs> young man there. See, uh, in my day, if you wanted to see a, a lady girl in a bikini, right, like you do on your... You don't... We didn't used to... No. What it was, what we had, right, back me up on this, was the uh, Big D peanut board, right? <laughs> Isn't that right, Brian? <laughs> Isn't that right, Brian? That's all we had, the Big D peanut board. Hey, what it was, was a board with a picture of a girl in a bikini, right, covered in little bags of nuts. <laughs> right? It was a more simple time. All right, so to see more of the girl, you didn't log on. No, you didn't, you didn't log on. Dirty rotter. You, you, had to buy, you had to buy a packet of peanuts, right? You had to buy a packet of peanuts. Uh, so a rumour would go around the village, hey, there's a new peanut board up at the pub. It's a new girl. So we'd run up, OK? We'd all run up. But you don't want to buy that first bag of nuts, do you? Because that's just a bit of sky, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a bit of sky. It's a waste. It's a waste of 25p. Hmm? No, you hold fire. You hold fire there. You wait for your weights, right? You bide your time. Next one along. That's her face. You hold fire. You hold fire. You hold fire. Next one. It's over the other shoulder. It's a bit of sky. You hold fire. You hold fire. Next one. Top of the shoulder. You hold fire. You hold fire. Next along. It's her neck. You hold fire. You hold fire. Next along. Top of the other shoulder. You hold fire. You hold fire. Next one. It's her arm. You hold fire. You hold fire. Bye, 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 bye. Race you up the bar. 
So, um... <laughs> so, uh, what is it? Yeah. Uh, it's in the old days, right? If the worst crime, right, the worst criminals, the way to stop them, dead in their tracks, right? Simple sound. <laughs> fickle, fickle, go, fickle. So, um... Let's have a little bit of... Uh, I like to do this now, just to assess the, uh, the self-esteem in the room, roughly. Sir, do you reckon you could uh, beat, say, an ant at uh, badminton? <laughs> Look, she's got you on her camera. <laughs> You're on a DVD. Well, do you think you could uh, beat an ant yes. at badminton? Yeah, fairly confident, fairly cocky. Bring it on, he says, bring it on. <laughs> OK, uh, just getting a rough idea of the self-esteem. Uh, madam there, do you think you could beat perhaps a, a vole at <laughs> Kaplunk? <laughs> if you had to, in a, in a war situation and you had to. Uh, madam, do you reckon you could beat, say, a, uh, a hamster at uh, tennis if you had to? Yeah, you're fairly, you're fairly confident about it. Well, let's find out as you join me in interspecies tennis. Come on up. <laughs> That's it! Lovely. Come on, that's it! Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Isn't she... That's it! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! Alright, okay, okay. What's your name? What's your name? Becky. 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 Be Becky. <laughs> Becky. Alright, so, um, uh, short for? Alright, okay, come on. What's your... <laughs> What's your... Uh, I can't believe anyone would be phoning at this time, Becky. <laughs> I can't believe anyone. I can't believe it. Uh, hello? What? Uh, hello, Mum. Yes? What? Someone's broken into the van? <laughs> Stolen all the tools. <laughs> Must have been an inside job. They've no way of knowing. <laughs> What, um, what do you do for a living, Becky? You're an accountant working in, in an accountancy uh, firm, firm of accountants, adding up, taking away, adding up, taking away, taking a bit for yourself, we're in a bad problem. Uh, we've all done it, we've all done it. Nothing to be ashamed of. Um, I suppose, Becky, what you, uh, you, uh, come on, give generously, come on, come on. Come on, for the kids. Uh, for the kids, come on. Come on, hey. I suppose you want to meet the hamster uh, that you're going to be playing, uh, Becky. Uh, and here he is. I'm just kidding him. Come on out, you silly monkey. Uh, him, hamster. <laughs> How, here he is. Look, hmm? It's little Abu. Little Abu hamster. The, <laughs> hmm? All the way from Finsbury Park. There he is, little Abu. <laughs> little Abu hamster. Hmm? Hamster. There he is. All right. He's got a present for you. Look, Becky, he's got a little present for you. Look, go on. He's got a... He's got a... He's changed his mind. <laughs> he's changed his mind. All right. OK, well, let's find out who's going to serve first near the interspecies tennis. Pop the spuds in, Becky. Pop the spuds in and we'll find out. That's it. Just you're going to gamble on one or you're going to go for two. Increase your chances by 50%. <gasps> <gasps> one, two, three, 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 four, five, three, six, three, seven, two, Someone to tell him in the office tomorrow, eh? <laughs> you should have seen me. I was up there. <laughs> He's going to serve first. He's going to serve. <laughs> Little Abu is going to serve first. We just need the ball boy now to uh, to arrange the uh, tennis. I say tennis, of course. I mean the uh, swing ball. Uh, swing, swing ball. Um, and, uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so let's... So your backhand, obviously, Beck, and obviously I have to hold him up, otherwise he can't reach.
And of course, Becky, you don't go away empty-handed. There you are, a little present for you for taking part. But I'll add that back if you don't mind. <laughs> the right one here. All right. Take your time. Oh, oh. Right. Uh, my dad bought me a remote control submarine when I was a little boy. Uh, which is kind of a mixed feast, you know, the remote control submarine. You go down the duck pond, you release it into the water there. Uh, left a bit, mm, right a bit, left a bit. Mm, and no idea where it was. <laughs> <laughs> Never saw it again. <laughs> I found out ten years later it was in fact a brick. <laughs> and the remote control aspect, that was a matchstick in a bit of blue tack, <laughs> mounted on a Jaffa cake. <laughs> And you're probably like me, when you were at school, uh, your dad would fill your, your space opera with Fanta, right? <laughs> you know, you, know, you think, I'd just take the, the space opera around the block. Hmm? Oh, it, it's strangely sluggish. <laughs> <laughs> you think, God, normally I'd cover this distance in no time. <laughs> and then I must have hit a nail or something. There's this orange fluid coming out of the space opera. I'm thinking, I go home to Dad, I say, Dad, look, what's this orange fluid coming out of the space opera? He said, that, space opera blood, right? <laughs> it's bleeding, he said, it's dying. He said, the best thing you can do with that space opera, take it upstairs, tuck it up in bed, and give it a big kiss goodbye, right? <laughs> so I get up there, just as I'm bending down to kiss it goodbye, Dad pops up, takes a photograph, there's the photographs made into posters, all around the village, look at Harry's new girlfriend. <laughs> I said to him, what did you do that for, Dad? He said, well, I had to use the film up. <laughs> so there we are. Right. We're in the... Uh... And I'm feeling a little bit low tonight. I feel mixed feelings because last night I did find out that a lot of my telephone calls are used for training purposes. <laughs> it's nice to get a bit of good news. Um, but on the, on the downside, I ran over a pizza delivery boy. <laughs> Last night on the way home, and I, you know, I felt bad about it. You know, obviously, you know what they're like. They come out of nowhere. He's in the blind spot. You know, it's dark. Uh, I knocked him off. I felt bad about, uh, bad about knocking him off. You know, I'll be honest. I felt bad about eating the pizza. <laughs> but you know, you're hungry, aren't you? You, you know, the smells. Twenty minutes waiting for the ambulance. <laughs> the smells wafting up off that bag. <laughs> It's only going to go to waste, you eat that. You know, it's salty, two litres of Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> the ambulance man turns up, right? He's furious, right? He's saying, well, hang on a minute, where's the pizza? <laughs> I didn't realise, right, if there's any food flying about, right, they get first bagsies. <laughs> they see it as a sort of perk of the job. <laughs> I said, never mind that, let's get him into the ambulance, right? We get him into the ambulance, okay? He's got a sticker on the back of the ambulance. No people kept in the van overnight. <laughs> <laughs> just a minute, I'm thinking here. Just, if we're weightless, right? If it's zero gravity, what's the mouse need a ladder for anyway? <laughs> So we get him into the... We're driving around, right? We're driving around, OK? Uh, I said to the ambulance driver, look, you know, it's late, it's very dark. These pizza delivery boys, they come out of nowhere. You might... Uh, sure enough, another one comes by, right, in the blind spot. We didn't see him. Knocked him off. Right, there he is. OK, I'll, give, I'll get the pizza, little pizza. There you go. On, there's your pizza, all right? A couple of slices for him, a couple of slices for me. Well, it was my idea, right? <laughs> We get him into the ambulance, right? We're driving along like that. We've got the, uh, the two pizza delivery boys in there. We've had the pizza, right? We're still a bit peckish, OK? <laughs> still a little bit peckish. A little corner to be filled there. It's dark, right? Would you... Another one. In the blind spot. Didn't see him. We knocked him off. Right? There we are. There's the pizza. Yeah, we're not too interested in that. What else you got? <laughs> Ice cream, right? Couple of... Yeah. Tubs of ice cream, we have that down like that. We get the pizza delivery boy into the back of the ambulance, right? There's three pizza delivery boys are driving around, okay? We've had the pizza, that's like the main course, isn't it? Mm. That's the main course. We've had the pudding, the ice cream. We're driving along, we're thinking, how could we round this off nicely? Just then, we come up level with Starbucks, right? The coffee <laughs> person. Some idiot in 
the blind spot. Didn't see him. Boom, knocked him over. Right, there's his coffees. We drank the coffees down. We get him into the back of the ambulance. We're driving along like that, OK? We've had the main course. We've had the pudding. We've had the coffees, right? We're in this ridiculous situation. We're driving up and down the high street at 3 in the morning, trying to find someone who's eating an after 8 mint. <laughs> There was, we found someone. Hmm? <laughs> there he was, okay. Uh, we knocked him off, he was in the blind spot, fortunately, and... Uh... <laughs> but it turned out it wasn't actually an after eight mint, right? What it was, was a square of brown suede. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cobbler on an important business meeting. <laughs> and for safekeeping, he was keeping that square of brown suede in an after eight mint session. <laughs> I thought to myself, you know, who would use a sweet wrapper in such a way? I turned the body over, there he is, Bob, the astronaut from earlier on. <laughs> oh, this is a kid. Okay. Yes? Uh, where's Stufa? 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 Yeah. But I haven't seen him all day, Steve. Mr. Harry. <laughs> he is something there, but Mr. Harry. <laughs> I'll see if I can see him, Steve. I'll see if I can have a... Mr. Harry. Stufa. Stufa, are you there? Mr. Harry. Hey, there he is. Me. Catfans. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Find me and follow me, the dark of the matinee. <laughs> How you were then on. How you feeling? Uh, dull, lifeless hair. <laughs> Unnecessary fizz. So how are you were? Uh, how are you were? Uh, how are you feeling, Stu? Well, Mr. Harry, I'm feeling a little bit sick tonight. You're feeling sick? Yeah, I had a little sauce of milk earlier. I think the milk was up. I feel, uh, I feel a little bit. Uh, I feel a little bit. Uh, a bit, uh, a bit, uh, a bit He's got a little bit of sick playing around the corner of his... Yeah! The milk's off! The milk's off, it should never have been served, the milk. So, uh, what are you going to do for us? What, what are you... <laughs> <laughs> what, are you go... what are you going to do for us, uh... What are, you... what are you going to do for us today? What are you going to do for us today, Stoof? Well, well, Mr. Harry, what are you going to do for a second? You try it. You try it. <laughs> so, all right, calm down. What are you going to do for us tonight? Steve? Well, what I'm going to do, Mr. Harry, I'm going to contact the spirit world. Oh, yeah. I'm going to contact the spirit world. I will go into a trance-like state and get a message from the other side. He's going to go into a trance-like state. Off you go, then, into your trance-like state. There we are. No sudden movements, please, while he enters. The trance-like state. Oh, there he is. Right, there he is. Right, no sudden... No sudden movements, please. You getting anything through from the other side, Stu? Yeah, I'm getting a message. I'm getting a voice. I'm getting a message for someone in the audience called John. Someone called John in the audience. John. I'm getting a John. John. Jack. 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 Yeah. Jack. Anyone called Jason? J. Jane. J. 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 Becky. 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 It's your name, Becky. From the other side. Someone in your family dead. Someone in your family. Someone in your family dead, Becky. In Victorian times. <laughs> Think back. Victorian times dead. Got a message from Becky. He's got a message. Do you want to hear the message? Okay. What's the message, Doof? Everything gonna be alright. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. 
That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. So, uh, Mr. Harry, can I play the hamster at interspecies tennis? Oh, I see, because you're a different species. Yes, I'm a different species. I'd like to play the hamster. Uh, well, I'll try that. Let's certainly give that a go. Uh, <laughs> All right, there we are. I've got the old, see, the old around there. Oh, uh, 12 quid. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not uh, cheap. Uh, <laughs> all that stuff, I bought them all that. Um, so, here he is, Abu there. But get your, uh, that's it, get your little, uh, that's it, Stu, for you help. Uh, <laughs> that's, he's got, that's it, that's it. I've got terrible. I got a terrible cramp in there. I know those are giving me. I would have you out, but I've got arthritis in that hand. Ah! Oh! Uh, all right, so one potato. He's got a present for you. He's changed his mind. One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato. Uh, Stoop was going to serve first. This is round two of interspecies tennis. You! That's it, Stoop! He's Stoop! Hey! Go on, Stoop! Go on! Oh, that's it! Sorted, respect you. Stay with there, ladies and gentlemen, that's all he does. Providing it's with dignity, top. The indisputable leader of the gang. He's the top. Top cat. Okay, so, uh... Oh. So there it was, the funeral, right, uh, of Nan. Very sad affair, obviously. But, you know, the funeral over in this country is a very cold, clinical kind of thing, isn't it? You know, you, uh, you don't see the body, right? It's a coffin there. The coffin goes through the curtains. Everyone sheds a silent tear, right? You don't see the flames. You don't see what happens next. In the third world, right, it's a big cathartic experience, isn't it? A big funeral pyre. The body's on there. You can see it's a body. You see the flames engulfing it, the smoke. Everyone has a good old wail, right? Oh, Nan, you know, what are you going to have to do that for? You know, it's a big, right? It's a big cathartic, yeah? Back me up, a big cathartic. Over here, cold and clinical, a little bit of tape music, a silent tear shed, you see the coffin disappear. But if you think about it, they've got the weather for it over there, haven't they? <laughs> hey, hey, you try that over here, hey? You try it over here, you build a bonfire, right? You get your nan on. <laughs> right? If the council will let you. <laughs> Bless brim, bless brim. Uh, oh, when will Najaf be free? Um, the, you get the body on there, and it won't take, you know. It won't take. You know, you only need a light drizzle or a heavy dew the day of the, of the, of the funeral. There's your uncle saying, try her hair, try her hair. <laughs> What's the point? You know, uh, you end up thinking, well, should we put a tarpaulin over it and come back the next day? <laughs> But no, you end up siphoning petrol out of the hearse. <laughs> More expense. Uh, shall I do this? Shall I do the old? Oh, yeah. It's a bit of fun, if it's especially for the kids. You're right, kids. We should put this in your project. A bit of fun, this is it. <laughs> like that. Local, everyone pretty much local. Mm, rough out, isn't it? You, um, what the thing is, uh, I was up here earlier today and I thought I'd take a wander around. I went to that uh, aquarium. Have you seen it? The aquarium, £1.25. Cheap, I thought. Go in there. And what it was was a bucket of water, right? Yeah, with some insects floating in the top. <laughs> Call this an aquarium. 
He said, well, what it is, it's an allegorical aquarium, right? This is, this is what? He said, uh, allegorical. You look at the different insects, right? Different types of insect are reminiscent of specific sea animals, right? It takes you back to a time when you went to a proper aquarium, right? This way, you get in for £1.25, none of the big sea animals get hurt. Right? I thought, okay, I'll go with it. I said, what's the, uh, what's the blue, blue bottle supposed to be then? He said, the blue bottle? So that, that's your dolphin, right? It's blue, it's like a dolphin. Straight, as soon as he said it, I was looking at the blue bottle, I'm straight back to Miami there, watching the big dolphins at SeaWorld, right? Yeah, I'm wor it's working, I'm getting a buzz off it. I said, okay, what, what about the, the bee? The bee, sir, it's large, highly patterned, that's your killer whale. As soon as he said it, there, in my mind, the killer whale, much as you are now, sir, the killer whale, jumping out of the water, large and highly patterned. I said, okay, what's the wasp? The wasp, sir, is evil. That is the shark. Yes, as soon as he said it, I remember seeing a shark in a different aquarium on a number of different occasions. <laughs> I said, I said, well, what about the moth? The moth? Sir, it's triangular and flat, isn't it? Very much like a stingray. As soon as he said it, there I was at a different aquarium watching the stingrays as they floated by. It works, okay? I said, well, what's the, uh, what's the squirrel? He said, the squirrel? Oh, that's a T-Rex. That's a different project I'm working on. <laughs> I said, hang on. I said, hang on a minute, the T-Rex that eats meat. I said, the squirrel eats nuts. I said, how'd you get it to eat meat? He said, well, I hollow out acorns and fill them with blood. <laughs> I said, just out of interest, how are you doing the Triceratops? He said, well, what? that's easy. It's a three-legged Barbie stool, super glued to the face of a tortoise. <laughs> I, see what that was. I said, well... <laughs> I said, what's that shaved poodle? He said, that? Oh, that's Laura Dern. <laughs> well, <laughs> I made my excuses and left, but... <laughs> home I thought to myself yeah he's got a point the allegorical aquarium he's proved to me it works for insects I thought does it work for any other system of items right it does the fact is it does let's take for instance nuts okay different nuts you look at them to suggest uh, sea animals right the allegorical aquarium nut system okay let's kick off with the cashew what's the cashew there it is right go the what the dolphin straight away she's onto it she's she's, <laughs> she's clever you've done well there Brian yeah okay. <laughs> It's the dolphin straight away. The Brazil nut, large, highly patterned. That's killer whale. There's one or two already. It's beginning to catch on. <laughs> okay. The pistachio. What's the pistachio? It's got a little mouth, isn't it? It's a little shark. mouth. The shark. Straight away. Yeah. Okay. And the stingray. Um, In the nut. What? The almond. That's right. <laughs> Good girl. It's flat and triangular in shape. It's the almond, right? <laughs> The almond stingray. Okay, it works for nuts. We've proved that. Does it work for fruit? Okay, fruit. Here we go. What's the uh, the banana? What's the banana? <laughs> Dolphin. Straight away, they're onto it. Okay. <laughs> the watermelon. It's large, highly patterned. It's the kuna whale. Okay. <laughs> and the stingray. What's your stingray? The pomegranate. The pomegranate. <laughs> That's your puffer fish, isn't it? That's your puffer fish. The pomegranate. You can have a puffer fish, but you know. Anyone? The stingray? The what? The pineapple? <laughs> it's, the, it's the shark, isn't it? The pineapple. Because it's got uh, sharp spines uh, and like teeth. I, uh, like a shark's teeth. Um, anyone? The pear, exactly, madam. It's triangular in shape and we dispense with the flat aspect on this occasion. <laughs> Insects, nuts, and fruit. Let's see if it works with any system that you care to throw up, right? Someone like to suggest a system, we can see if the allegorical aquarium system works for it. anyone like to. Wait, All right, just. <laughs> <laughs> You're held in a queue. What did you say? Crisps. Crisps. It's not a system, is it? <laughs> crisps. Where'd you go with crisps? <laughs> Broaden it to snacks. Now you're talking. <laughs> Should we go with that? Should we go with snacks? It wasn't the first choice. Should we go with snacks? Yeah? All right, off you go. Quaver. <laughs> Quaver. Don't you just shout Quaver at me. <laughs> it's expecting me to do all the work. <laughs> Come on, you say it. What's your dolphin? Start from basics. What's your dolphin in the snack system? <laughs> right? You've already said it. Quaver. What's your killer whale? Large. Hmm? Monster munch. Monster munch. Monster munch. Yeah. Is the shark. 
<laughs> cheesy what's it, isn't it? It's a cheesy what's it, one of the larger ones. That, that's it's large, highly panned. Uh, and the and the stingray, what's your stingray? Pringle. <laughs> Not the Pringle. Tony the Nacho. <laughs> okay. What the, who's this down here? Why it's it's Gary. <laughs> It's Gary, my son, from my first marriage. <laughs> there he is. Ah, hello, everybody. I understand there's a large party of people in from Scotland tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill that producer. I'll kill him. I'll kill that producer of Stroke Research. All right, Gary, calm down. <laughs> All right, Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> Fine. Follow me, the dark. <laughs> My Jesus juice now. Oh, All right, <laughs> come. That's our little secret. Come on. Uh, I'm going to be sick, Daddy. Uh, it's just a bit of dry retching. Okay, it's just a bit of dry retching. All the work or vomiting with nothing to show for it at the end. But oh, okay. it's uh, in some ways worse. All right, Gary, just calm down. Just sit down there. Just sit down. He looks a little bit like Pete Doherty, doesn't he? <laughs> Kate. All right, now, just, um... All right, come on. Uh, who's had all me crack? Uh, <laughs> who's had all me crack? All right, now, come on. So what, um... Can we have a chair here? Can we have a chair? Sit, it's for crying. Ooh. So, here we go, here we go. Who puts wheels on? <laughs> Who puts wheels on a chair, Daddy? I don't know. Do <laughs> Kill that researcher. All right, Gary. Now, what are you going to do for us? Uh, what are you going to do for us tonight? What are you going to do for us tonight, Gary? Well, what are you going to do, Daddy? I'm going to do my little song. You're going to do your little song. Then I'm going to do my little dance. You're going to do your little dance. All right, off you go then with your little song. A tribute to the soul singers of the past that may or may not be deceased. Sitting in the morning sun, I'm sitting in the evening shade, silly ass, watching the ships roll in. Then I watch you roll away again. Sitting in the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Sitting in the dock of the bay, wasting time. <laughs> I'm going to do my little dance now. Off you go then, Gary. Swing ball. <laughs> you 
you sure? Yes, Daddy. <laughs> I, I, I want to reach to the shore. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Don't mind me, I'm... Ah, oh, this is... Ah, oh, ah, ah, oh. I can't believe anyone would be phony. Lonely, I'm so lonely. I don't need nobody. All right, so, uh, <laughs> you, uh, just pick up your, where's the, pick up your, come on, Gary, pick your, pick your, pick up the, pick, come on, Gary. Pick it up, what's wrong with you? I seem to have gone all week down one side, Daddy. <laughs> I think I may have had a slight stroke, Daddy. Well, <laughs> oh, get that one there. There's another one there. I've got a special for you. There it is. OK, Daddy, here we are. That's much... <laughs> wanted a uh, electronic organist boy. I asked my dad for it. He didn't get me quite what I wanted. He may have misheard me. He got me this. Look, this is... <laughs> all right? It's a very early electronic organ, one of the early ones. You didn't even have to plug it in. Uh, here it is. Look, I've still got the Vesper. It came off. <laughs> and as we approach our finale, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we do need someone uh, for the big finale number. Has anyone got a lighter? For the... anyone? <laughs> you go on. Good for you, mate. Thank you. Uh, all right. Now, so what happens is it goes dark, right? Not now, but in the big finale number. It'll go dark. And that's... and I'll say the word candle. That's when you light up that. I guess it's a lovely moment. Um, <laughs> a bit tight, those trousers, aren't they? <laughs> you might want to stand up. Your eyes are watering. <laughs> what? So, all right. It's, uh, it's got it. Uh, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as a wave of of patriotism sweeps through the land uh, as we celebrate the uh, marriage of uh, Prince Charles and his Duchess of uh, <laughs> Ming. Let's, um, of course not, that's very wrong. It's just been dealt a poor hand, that's all. Could have happened to any of us. <laughs> all stand now for the national anthem. Thank you. Traitors.
much for coming, ladies and gentlemen. We do appreciate it. Thank you for this special DVD recording. But you know, I can't help thinking there must be lights burning brighter somewhere. Got to be birds flying higher in a sky more blue. If I can dream of a better land where all my brothers walk hand in hand, tell me why. Tell me why. Oh, why? Why can't my dreams come true? We're lost in the cloud with too much rain. We're trapped in a world that's troubled with pain. Come on out, Stu. <laughs> Mr. Horsey, come on out, Mr. Horsey. <laughs> the Badger, come on out. Ah. <laughs> Harry Hill Sr., come on out, Dad. entertaining. What? <laughs> Who paid money to see this? I mean, I want my money back. Two, three, four. Going down to Stony End, I never wanted to go. 
Thanks very much.